Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got an interesting question on the email here. This comes in from Joseph. Joseph asks, uh, he says, I went back and forth between getting the M50. Actually, I don't think this was email. I think this was a comment on a video. But he says, I went back and forth between getting the M50, an A6300, or the Panasonic GX9. So that's a Canon M50, the new one, the Sony A6300, or the Panasonic GX9, for my wife as a first camera to capture family pics once our son is born. Chose the M50 and picked it up yesterday because of the beginner modes and touchscreen menus that are easy to understand. I think that's where this model will fit in and sell well. I have a Nikon D7200 and I love it for photos, but I found myself wanting to shoot more video as well and the AF is terrible in video. Not too invested with only a 17-55, the 1855 kit lens, and a 50mm prime. Might consider switching over to Canon once the 90D comes around or see what mirrorless is coming from Nikon and Canon before doing anything. Any thoughts on what the video functions will be on the future Nikon? Thanks for your question, Joseph. Um, and a very interesting question. Where is Nikon going with video, basically? Nikon's been actually very good with video. They have very strong offerings in video as far as the fact that they've gone 4K, they've given us decent codecs, um, and really the cameras are pretty well featured for video. Uh, take, for example, the new D850. It does a really nice 4K. Nikon's biggest problem, the Achilles heel for Nikon right now, is the fact that they have not been able to come up with a competitive autofocus system for video. In other words, Canon has dual pixel AF. Sony has an equivalent. I'm not even kidding. Remember off the top of my head what they call it. But basically, those are the two big players in the game. If you want a camera that can follow you smoothly and accurately, automatically, while you're shooting video. Nobody else can do it as well. Canon's dual pixel AF is amazing. That's why they dominate the vlogging and a lot of the industry for that reason. But Sony is a dark horse coming up on them. I think a lot of people don't realize that uh, Sony is as good or even better in many situations. I think if you look at the new A7R 3 and there are some adapt, adapt and there are some changes you can make in the menu system, some settings you can do that basically will make the Sony follow focus as good or better than Canon's dual pixel AF. And I'm specifically talking about the A7R 3 one of the newest ones. I mean, we do have the A7 III. I haven't tried it or heard about it on that. I'm assuming it's as good or better than the A7R 3 But the point here is Nikon doesn't have anything that can touch that. In comparison, it's um, a very weak autofocus system for continuous focus. It's clunky. You can hear the focusing. It stops and stutters, and you can see it zooming in. And it's not smooth like what you would expect old school from a camcorder where it just smoothly follows you. You can do that with a Canon. You can do that with a Sony. Nikon has not been able to deliver this yet. I've seen many patents for what would seem like Nikon's version of dual pixel AF. I don't know why they haven't been able to bring it to market. I don't know if they're concerned about patent infringement. I don't know if they can tweak their, they, maybe they just can't tweak their own version that works that well without patent infringement. I don't know why we haven't seen this from Nikon, but the fact remains that we have not. This is Nikon's biggest hurdle that they must address to stay competitive in the camera market with video being such a huge chunk of a buyer's considerations now. I get emails in and comments in daily about people now wanting to shoot more video. Used to be a lot of people saying, and there still are some, but saying, I don't want to shoot video. I just want a photography camera. But more and more and more people are like, yeah, well, now I want to shoot a little video. They're, it's slowly changing the minds of people because all the cameras out there will shoot video. The problem is Nikon needs to address this. How soon it's going to happen, I don't know. It was my opinion up until recently that this wasn't really even on Nikon's radar as an issue. I think they are starting to see this as an issue. I think, uh, especially with the development of the pro mirrorless system and more mirrorless cameras coming from Nikon, uh, I can only assume, I can only hope that they are aware of the fact that they are not class leading or anywhere near competitive on a follow focus system like Canon's dual pixel AF or like what Sony offers, which is as good or better in some situations. Nikon needs to have that. So what will the video functions be on the future of Nikon? That is the big problem. That is the big question right there, the autofocus. The rest of what Nikon offers for video is actually pretty darn decent. 
uh, they, you know, they have a lot of their cameras have a very angle LCD. Their touchscreen implementations could probably be a little better to bring them up on par with Canon, but they're not bad. Um, the big problem is the ability to focus and continuous focus in live view or in video. And how soon we can expect them to address that or how soon they will address that, I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm hoping it's soon. I'm hoping with the release and the development of the new mirrorless, we will see Nikon. I'm hoping they they understand that when they come to market with these mirrorless cameras, they have to have addressed this issue. If they don't, we can expect to see a bit of a fail on the mirrorless cameras from Nikon. So that's not a definitive answer for you, but I think we're going to see a mirrorless camera from Nikon hopefully this year. I think they realize, especially with Canon pushing them out now, they've got to get one out and they've got to bring out a mature product that's competitive. Included in that is the fact that it's got to be able to compete on something like a dual pixel AF focus system. If that's going to happen is anybody's guess because up until now, Nikon has not been able to do this. They haven't been able to deliver on that. So hopefully we'll see the new mirrorless from Nikon this year in 2018 and hopefully we'll get a heck of a pleasant surprise because they'll come out with a mirrorless that has a competitive autofocus system that could compete with Sony and Canon's dual pixel AF. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Is this the major problem behind Nikon for video? Is there something else you think Nikon's lacking in video? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Let's um, see if we can put some more feedback into our answer for Joseph here. And um, let me know what you think about, are you holding off for the Nikon mirrorless? Is do you want to continue with Nikon? Is that your brand? Is that your camera system? Is that the one you want? You're just hoping that, you know, you're just waiting for them, as I guess myself and a few other people are, uh, to deliver something that's competitive with dual pixel autofocus. Let me know in the comments below. Really interested to hear what you guys have to think on this one. Thanks for your, um, your comment there, Joseph, and your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.